the middle layer is just one muscle. An easy way to remember all these muscles because it's a pretty, uh, pretty crazy area when you're looking at an anatomy book. Just remember four minus one leaves you three, which means the four on the top in the superficial layer minus one, that gives you the intermediate layer. And now you're left with three in the deep layer, which we'll get to in a moment. But to talk a little bit more about that intermediate layer, the next muscle is going to be the flexor digitorum superficialis. And the reason it's called superficialis is because it's a little more superficial than the deep one to it. And it only actually goes to the middle phalange of digits two through five. Its origination point is also off the common flexor tendon. And it's what allows you to do this action here, not completely curl your fingers all the way around, but just close the hand like that, okay? Very important muscle to help move your fingers for grip strength. And if you just wiggle your fingers like that, you'll be able to see the action of these tendons happening beneath the superficial ones we just covered. And if I place my fingers there, I can feel the sliding and grooving of the superficialis, especially good right there. To muscle test these, because we know it goes to the middle phalange of these fingers, we can just pull on each one of these while doing a little stabilization. And again, they flex, so we'll put him a little bit in deflection. I'm going to try and extend his finger while stabilizing right across the middle phalange. And we can do this all the way down. Hold there nice and strong. And then hold there nice and strong. Good. Again, we're not challenging the distal phalange just yet. And of course, you could always do a grip strength, just squeeze my fingers nice and hard. Again, just to see globally how those muscles are doing. For an additional muscle test for the flexor digitorum superficialis, we can stabilize again across the wrist, and then we can put each tip of our four fingers into the middle phalange of his, and again, pull back. He can't engage that, uh, the distal tip of his finger. We're just checking the middle part. And while stabilizing, you can palpate through and feel the fibers of the superficialis beneath these superficial tendons.